Malawi's main wealth, I think, is his own people. The beauty of Malawi people is their culture. The way they are is an experience in itself. In Malawi, it's not important which tribe you belong to, but where you are coming from. Jesus, in the Bible, mentioned that he gave the work to the apostles to preach the gospel all over the world. And that is where the missionary was developed. And the, the wall will be built also today? Oh, the building today. Today, okay. When we build, I try to look for the cheapest and humble materials which are in the surroundings and I try to use them in the way, best way possible. In the roof we have used uh, elephant grass and it's very good to keep the houses cold. We started the nursery last year. We started with 20 children and we have 82. We have a wait list of 65. Many parents they want to come to join this school, but because we don't have enough classes, it's impossible. I really love when I see the children of the nursery, that they are having nice food every day, and education, and even they are greeting me in English. Since they have two, three years now, they are able to talk English. It's a sign of development. We don't deal only with education, but we combine to have also food balanced diet. After this program, the manuality has been decreased. What happened that if a person is undernourished, the, the is sorry sometimes, the skin is dry, the hair looks pale, so there are a lot there at the hospital. Paris is so large that we cannot reach everywhere. So we have uh, six catechists that they will be the ones taking care of the needs of the community, the religious needs. So at least we can visit each one of them a minimum of, of four times a year. <laughs> Last year we were celebrating the masses of the harvest in which one we go village by village giving thanks and we reach a place very small with only 15 families and I asked them uh, when is the last time you have mass? And one of the young men told me, look father, it was so long that I cannot remember it. The songs were prepared, the books were prepared, presents for us were prepared, contributions, they were ready. It really impacted me how people treasure something that they don't have. And then you go to places where there are masses daily or every weekend and many people they don't just pay interest or because it's for granted, because it's there, I don't treasure, I don't value. Our core activity here is religion and uh, evangelization. We are 
around 15,000 Christians they gather in the respective churches every Sunday to pray and to give praise and to sing and to read uh, the readings. We hear about the problems, we hear confessions, we celebrate the Mass with them. What moves me is to see how people being uh, so poor, according to our standards being so poor, they're able to be happy and they're able to share and they're able to support each other. Anybody can find happiness in, in many, many ways, no? And in my case, I, I discover happiness here in, in Africa with things that maybe other people will value in a different way, but for me it's the biggest present God could have given me. Benga, as a parish, we are ready to welcome all people of goodwill to come and help. Come and be inspired uh, by the people and the, and the place. The privilege of coming here, of evangelizing, it should not be only our own, it should be of each and every one of the church.